Welcome to another demonstration of Sioux Chief Rough Plumbing Innovation. I'm Rex. And I'm Mitch. Today we're going to talk about Halo Drain. Halo Sioux Chief's adjustable deck drain, which incorporates a stainless steel flange, an adjustable head, and is attached to a PVC or ABS body with a 2x3 inch or 3x4 inch connection. Strainer patterns are round and square, and it also comes available as a cleanout or where areas are important for waterproofing with a clamping collar and also available in the finish line format. Other options that come with Halo include an extension nipple for more adjustability, extension bushing, or shim kits for finish line fixtures. As Mitch mentioned, the Halo drain is perfect for any deck application, such as a wood deck or concrete deck, like you would find in a loft remodel or any multi-story concrete job. The two inch wide flange, stainless steel flange, gives it the support needed for the, the finished load of the strainer. Another popular option is the finish line feature available in the Halo. The Halo drain can be installed in a concrete cord opening. The contractor would come in and cut the hole in the corrugated deck and drop the Halo drain in the corrugated deck. And then with the finish line feature, allows them to do an overpour. The Halo drain without the finish line feature gives you three quarters of an inch adjustment above the flange. The finish line feature gives you one inch adjustment above the coring plug. To find out more about the finish line, you can watch the finish line video, which goes into a lot more detail. Here we have three typical installations for a Halo. The first of which is what we talked about earlier, and that's a cord opening. Here we have a, a concrete pour, and we've cored a six inch single core opening. With traditional drains, you have to do a double core. With a halo, you do a single core, and that's a six inch core. We drop the drain down into the concrete core, and here we're utilizing the finish line feature. So we would have an overpour. After the overpour is done, we would remove the coring plug and locate our finished fixture. We would have one inch of adjustment over the coring sleeve. Here we have an installation utilizing a corrugated deck. A corrugated deck, the contractor would come in, cut the hole in the corrugated deck, drop the finish line into the corrugated deck. In this case, we're utilizing the extension nipples. You can use more than one extension nipple if you need to, to raise the finished head as high as you need. Typically, a contract will come in and do a minimum of a four inch overpour over a corrugated deck. So again, the extension nipple allows you to raise the finished fixture, put the finished fixture in when you have your finished floor height. Both of these applications also can be utilized with a clamping collar, which Mitch will talk about here in a minute. The clamping collar allows you to apply a membrane to waterproof both of these applications. The last installation is your typical wood deck installation, where we'll often find it in an, a loft remodel or a second floor utility room. In those cases, normally you'll have to provide some waterproofing or a degree of waterproofing. In that case, you simply take your membrane lay it on top of the halo drain, then take your clamping collar, securing the membrane in place, then fasten it tightly with the bolts that are provided. If additional height is needed for the head, simply cut a piece of a three inch PVC and then glue our threaded bushing and our drain head to either end of the, of the PVC and adjust accordingly. Thanks for watching and remember, we're here to help you build your brand and your business.